Hey there, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the promotion calendar and get everything set up to start collecting opt-ins and increasing conversions over a promotional period with a promotional calendar. So the first thing you're going to do is head over to the plugins page to actually install the plugin. So we're going to click to upload and then we're going to find the plugin which at the moment I have saved to my desktop. And so you're going to select that and upload it to the page. So just take a couple seconds um, while it uploads in the background as usual. And once it has, you can hit the activate button to get the plugin working. So then the first thing we're going to do is head over to the My Promotions tab that has now been added. Um, and as you can see, when you click through, there shouldn't be any promotions installed. So what you're going to do is add your first promotion and then we're going to call this promotion once it finally loads save 10% off promotion calendar I'm just going to add some content that I prepared earlier and then hit publish so it's simple as that, I've created my first promotion you can put whatever you want in here um, it's got the full capabilities of the WordPress editor so it really can, you can go as crazy as you want um, from here, I'm then going to go to the settings page, and then you can actually get the plugin set up to integrate with your promotions. So the first thing we're going to do is select an autoresponder. So as you can see, at the moment there's Aweber, GetResponse, Mailchimp, um, or if you want to add your own one from another provider, you can just select other, and then actually just paste the web form in when you're creating the promotion itself. Um, but for this instance, we're going to go to Aweber, and I'm going to put in my list name, which is Digital Marketer. I don't need to worry about the Mailchimp URL or GetResponse ID, um, as I'm using Aweber at this case. But if you're using one of these, then obviously you would put in your respective form URL or form ID, depending on the service that you use. Um, we're also going to accept the default opt-in headline and opt-in button text, but you can customize these if you want to customize the opt-in form that is built in. Um, after that you need to set a thank you page URL, so the page where people will be directed after they've signed up to your promotion. Uh, as you can see here as well, the promotion calendar slug and the locked slug have already been entered and the page is created automatically. You can customize these pages through the traditional pages menu and if you change the slug just make sure you update it and this menu as well. So from here we're going to add the November as the month, which is when I'm creating this video. And we're going to select the promotion calendar uh, discount on several of the days. Now obviously you can use the same offer again and again. You can create custom offers so that you have different offers on different days. You can have a different offer every single day, uh, a mixture, so one has... Uh, one is only there on a certain day and another one's there for the rest of them. You really can get as free as you want and if you wanted to skip a date, so say the 16th, um, then you can do that too and it won't appear in the calendar. So I'm going to go up to 25 here, which should just give us a nice even row. And then if I scroll down, I'm going to upload a background image. So you will have been supplied with background images and you can select them from anywhere so here we have the blue snowflakes I'm going to use this one and then once that's uploaded um, you can simply hit to insert it into your post it's just taking a few seconds because it's a slightly bigger file and then I've actually got my logo uploaded onto this site so I'm going to select it here but you can upload it or select any of your existing photos and then place to insert into post. So you can see the URLs for those images are there now. You can also customize the colors that are used throughout the promotion calendar with this simple menu. I'm going to use the default ones for now um, but you can get as creative as you want and make sure it matches your background image, your logo and your branding. And then if you want to give us a credit link then you can leave this checked otherwise just uncheck it and there'll be no extra links on the page. So after that you just hit save And then if we head over to the Promotion Calendar page, you can see, I just log out of my own account so you can see how the average user would see it. And there we go. So you have a beautiful Promotion Calendar 
you have your logo at the top, you have your background image which you've selected and this text can all be customized through the promotion page and um, promotion calendar page and you can add any introductory text you need and all the doors are automatically generated and locked to the correct date for you. So you can see where I missed the 16th, it doesn't appear and all the days that you have selected up until the 25th do appear with a share bar at the bottom to help your page go viral and any day that isn't currently active you can see if you click on it it gives you the page is currently locked messaging but for the correct day which today is the 23rd if I click on that you get the promotional calendar discount with the code that I added and you can opt in to get updates so I'm just going to paste in my details here and when I opt in it takes you through to the thank you page which again you set through the settings and you can make that as custom as you want, add anything you need um, to help increase conversions and obviously get more people sharing your promotion calendar and coming back to the site. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope you enjoy using the promotion calendar.